Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends news. In today's video, we talk about the new update 080 coming soon in the game. We have more details today about the upcoming features and the new content. We'll talk about the new emails, a little bit more about the new legendary weapons, and more information about the Fort Planet. It's one of the questions that's been asked so much in the past 10 months. But first we'll start with the upcoming PvE event starting tomorrow because we have a little extra information today. Now that was the picture that was shown on the mad stream and they didn't give much detail about the rewards. They said cool jet epic cosmetics. It wasn't so clear they said a belt or something and then a chest. Uh, and then they said solar storm a full armor set and void effect a new epic weapon rocket launcher. I got a little bit more today guys. So here's the official rewards description, cool jets, cosmetic belt, but look at the description, it says a bandolier carrying lead containers filled with emergency coolant useful in extreme temperatures. So let's go back to the picture. Now if you look at the character at the front, he's got the bandolier on the chest, it's the big like the big ammo belt that you wear uh, in the front. It's not the belt that you wear at the waist. So there's the confirmation now from the description. Now for the rest, Solar Storm, the full armor set was already revealed and the rocket launcher also. But there's more, there's a fourth uh, item in the description. The number four on the list is not a sticker this time, it's Gamma Ray Camo. So we're gonna have a new camo that you can spend your points on or whatever the uh, resource you're gonna farm for this event. That's pretty cool to have camo again because for the Halloween event and the Christmas event, uh, when you know it's the last day and you have a lot of points to spend, you can just spend everything and like buy a bunch of paint cans, you know. So cannot wait to see that. I don't know if it's gonna be like the purple one you see on the rocket launcher, but if it's not that dude, I have no idea what it's gonna be. Now, if you're interested in the event lore, I will post the lore in the video description. Make sure you read it. Now let's go back to the 080 update because we got more info about the new features. So they said we get a new mode, capture the flag. Two teams of four will compete in the multiplayer mode trying to steal their opponent's banner. But we don't know about the scoring system yet. We don't know how it's gonna work. Uh, we still need to wait for more information. But we got more. Then they said all missions in the game will now be playable in co-op with another player. So that means probably the daily missions maybe you'll be able to do with friends. And there's something else guys, it was added in the description of the update. New ways to earn gold in the game from the offer wall. Now we don't know exactly what the offer wall is, but I'm thinking if you guys ever seen uh, Unkilled, when you start Unkilled on your phone, you have a whole list of things to do to earn extra gold. And most of these things include downloading games and playing these games. So I'm guessing if Madfinger Games can refer you guys to another game from another company, they will get paid if you download it and if you play. So the more you play, the more gold you can earn depending on the task. So I'm expecting something similar in Shadowgun Legends. We still need to wait to see more. Now about the new legendary weapons, the weapon types have been confirmed. So yes, the Winter Mute is an SMG and the PAL Driver is a machine gun. Now more information about the new content. First of all, the new map will be called Alien Cave. It's the new PvP map for Capture the Flag. But what about the new emotes? Pretty sure they said about six new emotes coming in the game on the last mad stream. But now we have five names for new emotes. Pogo, Rodeo, Chillin, Stingray and Jump Rope. So pretty sure you can speculate already about some of these, especially the Pogo emote because it's been talked already. Pretty sure you're not gonna eat a pogo, probably it's a pogo stick that you can jump on or something like that. Uh, but there's a, already a couple emotes that's been spoiled in the game. If you check the list, when you click to change your emote, there's already robot dance or something like that and the flag emote. So definitely more than five, I guess. Uh, then a little bit more new cosmetic. They will talk about it a little bit more next week, but we know we will have new cosmetics, right? And the last thing, secret gear and customizations for upcoming event. No more details. Definitely cannot wait to hear more about secret gear and customizations. 
so make sure you watch the next mad streams because the closer we get to the update the more information they reveal now the best for last what the hell is up with the fourth planet guys every day i see some people asking what's up with the red planet how do we unlock the last planet or when are they gonna unlock the fourth planet but guys they did give a little more information last stream i don't know if you guys paid attention because i see nobody talking about it so watch this little clip and i'll comment after when we do a new planet we want to introduce like new uh, environments maybe new enemies and so on but uh, right now our main focus for the updates is uh, on the retention so basically on keeping the players uh, in the game to give them incentive to play the game uh, regularly yeah. and so on uh, if we add a new ma uh, new planet and give you new missions uh, some of hardcore players are able to play those through missions in a day and the amount of work versus the, what it gives players and, and us is you know it's not that um, equal mm -hmm. uh, so but we want to of course we we still want to finish the story and to to give you the first planet and so on but we need to fix for some other things and then and improve other things give you more end game content uh, most more social features and so on and after that we can focus more yeah. on with the we, planet comes the massage parlor the... No, I, I think the massage battle might be earlier. So I don't know if you guys understand exactly what they're talking about, but the way I see it is the Fort Planet, it's in the game right now, it's locked, and it's actually nothing. It's just an open door that gives them a possibility to add more content. But the way I see it and how I understand it is it's actually not even started yet. The don't have environment they don't have new enemies maybe they have concepts maybe they have ideas but it's not in progress yet it's not even started the way i see it and that would make sense by the way remember when they were working on the gold arena uh when people were asking about the fort planet they were saying the artists are busy working on the gold arena environment they wanted a new environment for gold arena so what they said also is their number one goal right now is keep us playing and keep us busy so if they spend three four six months uh, creating new environment new enemies and new missions when they put the fort planet in the game and we can just complete all the new missions in a day or two uh the work the amount of work they put creating these new missions and the amount of time we need to just complete the missions it's really not worth it for them because what it gives us for the work they put into it is just not worth it. So they rather focus on giving us stuff to do. And that means uh, social features and that means also end game content. We need an end game mode to keep us busy, keep us playing and keep us entertained. Not just a couple missions that we can just clear in a day. We need a game mode that is really end game material that will just keep us playing all day, all week, all month. So definitely uh, looking forward to what they're going to come up with. But guys, about the question, when is the Fort Planet going to be unlocked? I don't know, guys, but I don't see it in the near future. Like really not anytime soon. I could be wrong. You never know. But... I don't see it in the near future and I mean maybe not even 2019 for real but that being said they still talk about they want to do it they want to add the end of the story or more to the story uh, the massage area the new features in the hub it is not necessarily tied to the last planet because if they put the last planet on hold they still want to give us the customization features uh, change your appearance change your name change your hair and change your tats you know so still looking forward to the new features uh, 080 coming really soon and more uh, in the game in the near future so that's it for now leave me a comment below guys what do you think about all that 
Uh, do you really care about the Fort Planet? Is it something that important to you to just have a couple new missions and put the end game on the side for that? I mean, I don't know. I think it's a smart decision to go end game material first and then add a little extra to the story. But hey, leave me a comment. I will read all the comments. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.